Hey guys, so it's been a crazy day at the office. Fashion Week is always crazy because we end up, you know, closing an issue of Teen Vogue and also going to shows at the same time. So we just arrived at Tibby backstage and you know, they're just beginning to kind of set things up and I'm going to interview hair, makeup, nail. I'm so excited and I'm also staying for the show. So let's kind of hang out, let's walk around and we'll see what's going on. What we're doing is just blow drying the girls as they come in with a bit of volumizing tonic. That gives me an oomph in it. Then I'm going through with a flat iron, middle part, very sleek, very straight. Finishing with just a little bit of the air control hairspray. If you are getting some extensions in, but it's it's a clean, strong look as opposed to any whimsy that we may have done at other shows for her. So just clean and sharp. Amy has a good idea of her own girl. She knows her girl, she knows how she wants her. She spends a few months on the collection and she wanted this to mimic it and not be nothing through through, nothing flighty, just strong and clean is where we're going. I'm yes. writing that down in my brain right now. And it's toning down a little bit of the pink on your chin around your nose. Which I have. And it here. is taking away the shine. Okay. But you still look like skin. Oh wow, I don't look like I've been running around New York City all day in crazy 100% humidity. And it's not super matte. Like it doesn't look flat. Yeah, I know. So that, Yay. I feel like it's my pet peeve when it comes to matte skin. It looks really flat. Yes. Would you say that's the worst part about matte skin? Yes, and it can look all one tone. So the trick is, is to pair it with a powder blush. Bobby's got in the retouching powders, the Dusty Rose. Go for your favorite powder blush, pinch your cheek, find the color. Throw on a creamy matte lip color, and you're going for the season. Amazing. Now, really quickly, I saw yes. blue eyes here. Tell yes. me about this blue eyes. We are doing a wash of a pale blue. It's like that baby blue throwback color, but in a very cool new way. No mascara. No mascara. No mascara. For runway, it's cool. Please, for everybody else, please put on mascara. Yes. And what actually you're going to see downstairs, the light, bright, urban feel to the makeup, you're going to see we actually are putting a bit of a white eyeshadow on the eyelashes. Wow. Okay. So it's creating a dusty feel to the whole makeup. I love it. Yeah. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. And we'll see you soon. Backstage right now with Amy from Tibby. I am the biggest fan of your line. Thank you. Tell us what we can expect backstage and also like front of house. Well, backstage will be a little crazy, <laughs> uh, but this is the first time we've shown outside of the tent, so it's a whole new experience. So I'm really excited about it. And then front of house, I'm really psyched. The girls look amazing, and it's a lot about waist definition and sculpture shapes this season, but really done in a very easy, out, relaxed way. What are the key colors of the season, spring, summer for you? You know, it's a lot of black and white, but then it's mixing it with really either saturated pastels or very desaturated pastels, like pinks and yellows and great baby blues. How would you describe your girl, the TV girl? I think she's a really cool girl who balances being very relaxed and feminine, but, you know, really just uh, eased out and cool at the same time. 
you so much. I can't wait to see the clothes on the runway. I'm your like biggest fan. Thank so you. thank you so much for taking the time. Thanks. Thanks. As you can see, everyone's streaming into the show. It's already packed in there, so I can't wait to sit down, rest my feet, and watch the show, finally. I'm just looking for things that can be translated into the pages of Teen Vogue. So, you know, we're looking for kind of sweeping trends, overarching trends. So for instance, we might notice that the wet look for hair is really popular. So when I see something like that, I think about how can I bring that into the pages of Teen Vogue? And how can Teen Vogue readers play with that trend?